Hi there and welcome back friends of a thoughtful gaming experience. This is your host Emmanuel Ken and we're here for a Wizardry 8 guide on how to create a really great ranger. A ranger that can hit your targets. So let's begin. We have a ranger here and what is the ranger good for? You can see from the attributes as always you can see he can cast something with his intelligence and he also has good strength, vitality, dexterity and senses. Now strength and senses combined with dexterity you have a very good uh, ranged damage with that because senses if maxed out gives access to the eagle eye skill which helps your range penetration very much so what is the ranger like in particular he has ranged criticals so he can instantly kill um, your opponents just with an arrow and uh, yeah it's just that you you should I'm not saying you should always but you can play your ranger with a bow and it will be very very good it's probably the best ranger is the bow ranger with an extended weapon standing in the back and you can I ignore vitality then yeah you should just go for that ranger strength dexterity speed and senses and you will have pretty good damage with your ranged weapon so a ranger is about range damage surprise surprise he's also about quality of life you can see here in the profession skills here scouting and mythology and you should always raise that at least if you're new to the game uh, otherwise you might know monsters as well with mythology but yeah these are your quality of life skills with scouting you find items with mythology you identify what opponents can and what they cannot so go for these and uh, the ranger can also good do, do good melee damage um, with his strength and uh, you can give him a pole arm or maybe a giant sword or yeah anything that is extended and he'll go do good damage from behind without spending ammo as well if you like that he also can cast alchemy spells which opens up for healing for curing and for of course teleportation so he's a valuable member uh, alchemy is not like a required skill but it helps you very much and you can also mix potions for money or for convenience so uh, that is the ranger the ranger is a good package the main thing is his range damage scouting and mythology in my opinion so what races should you choose for the ranger well it's kind of counterintuitive you shouldn't really go for an elf here uh, the elf is not the best ranger really he has like the average values he has only 10 bonus points though and you really don't need piety with a ranger because you won't be casting all the time or something like that what you should go for though is our hairy friends the mook the mook ranger is in my opinion one of the best if not the best ranger you can make him male or female it doesn't matter really with the usual um melee classes you should go for female if you want to have the stamina regeneration advantages first but we'll just make him male it's not the optimal decision optimal would be female here as well but yeah often the ranger is is my only male party member because you need at least one male party member um if you want to do a special quest later so uh take your ranger and you should really go for a mook a mook makes a really good ranger uh, as you can see here with his 40 bonus points you have all attributes open for you so what additional races can you take apart from the really great mook with also the good resistance modifiers you can go for a hobbit hobbit also has 30 bonus points he's much quicker he has 15 more speed than the mook and makes it for a really good ranger he has more points uh, added together but he cannot use like weapons like the giant sword that an oversized mook would use and he also has not that high of a resistance especially 
in the departments where it matters, which means you can see here, here's divine resistance and mental resistance. These are the most dangerous spells, so that's why the Moog is better in my opinion. And the Hobbit though does pretty good and he does extremely good damage. What you can also take of course is like Human Ranger, always good, nice mix, but no special resistances. You can take a Felper Ranger if you want, also has very good uh, remarkable speed and very good attributes for that. You can also go for a Gnome Ranger, you really have many opportunities for good Rangers. Gnome is not that good, but Draken will, will also be great. He has a little high vitality for a ranger, but in general, he's a good ranger. But as I said, my favorites by far are the Mook Ranger and the Hobbit Ranger. We'll go for, for my all-time favorite, the Mook here. We'll raise strength, which increases your range damage. We'll go for senses to max it out quickly. And have the penetration thing here. And I think we'll go for speed then. Because the MOOC speed is a little low and you want it higher to maybe start earlier for some casting. You may have some buffing. You can have some protection spells like element shield with your ranger, which are good to start early. So, yeah. I would first max out strength and senses then go for speed and dexterity and max that out and then you'll have very good damage so that is the attribute choice always max out strength speed dexterity and senses with senses probably being the most important and if you're done with all that then you can go for vitality or intelligence or anything you want but i would really go for these Four values strength dexterity speed and senses oh let's continue to the skills you should really always max out mythology and scouting if you're new to the game because that's a big part of why you take the ranger scouting is great giving you not usually all the items with a mooc with that high senses and uh, mythology giving you most of the info you need to defeat your opponents and the rest of the points you can put into bow and ranged combat at the start and later you should put them into alchemy because the bow and ranged combat stuff will just go up by itself is if you always use the bow and you should do that at the start and you'll have that maxed out by your good um, values And with the scouting and mythology, the ranger will make your life much easier. So, um, what can you expect from the ranger? You can expect from the ranger um, to to do really good damage from afar. You can expect from the ranger to find you all kinds of items. You can expect later if you have like 30 alchemy skill to mix pretty good and also precious potions that you may sell and uh, also use of course and you'll be informed about any opponents you have here so um, have fun with your ranger that you just built hopefully also a moog ranger as this is the best in my opinion and uh you should, if you're looking to gather a, a wizardry aid party, look at my other guides. Like I put out some guides for how to build a fighter, a Valkyrie and a Lord yet. And there are more guides coming and also how to put your party together so that you have all the skills that you need, all the spells that you need for the highest level. So stay tuned for that. Uh, if you like the video, please subscribe, share or like. Um, I would be very happy if you did that. Also, I appreciate some feedback and uh, yeah, have a good time playing the game. 
Happy gaming to you. This is Emmanuel Kahn signing out.